you are welcome. In this video, let us understand how to make payroll management using Python. So it is a Python web project. So this project will use exam server. Exam will have Apache server. So Apache is a web server. So in order to run a web application, so you require a server. That is Apache server we are using here. And per backend, so we are using MySQL. So these both will come when you install the exam. I'll demonstrate and I'll show you this project. Before getting to the project, let us discuss about the design of this particular project. So payroll management. So we all know payroll is salary. So salary calculations is required for every company, small or big, whatever it is. So it is a web-based application. So therefore, company and employee can communicate. So it's a web-based. So admin, we take it as a company. And the other module taken as an employee. Where an employee can able to see his salary. So admin can log in. So this is admin main login page. So this is a one page. So once you log in, you'll go to main page. So this is another page. So after that, so here you can see that we can enter all the employee related activities. So they are like, we'll enter the leave type. What are the different types of leaves available for the employee? Leave type. Then we'll enter the employee details. So here we'll create the credentials, user ID and password. Then we'll pass to the employee. Therefore, they can able to log in. Then employee salary detail. Then once they apply for leave, so here you can see that applied leave list. Leave list. Then leave approval. So we need to give the approval. Then you can have a salary generation. Based on the attendance, attendance we can generate the salary. Salary generation. Then view salary and also some PF reports will be there. If you come to the employee, so you can see that how many pages. This is the main page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, some 8 pages. And come to the employee, employee can log in. So you can apply online attendance. So when you log in, if you click the attendance, so attendance will be added. Then you can see the leave type. So what are the leaves available? Then you can apply for leave. Then leave status. Then you can see the salary, view salary. So how much salary you are getting for the month that you can able to view it here. So also some FAQ will be there. So these are the things will be covered in this project. This I will demonstrate and I will show you like how we can make all these things and then how do you execute, how do you enter the data, how do you see the result, everything will show you here. So before getting to the demonstration, I request you please go through this project, Banking Python Web Application Project. So it's available in our uh, YouTube channel. So go to YouTube, search for iBlix Tutorials, then click Videos. So in a videos, you can see that if you browse down, so there is a Banking Python, so this is the application. So here we explained all the details which are required in order to run the web application. Like how to configure exam. So here the configuration of the exam configuration. Then how to work with PHP MyAdmin. PHP MyAdmin. Then how to create the database. Create tables, then how to run the project. So all are explained in this project. In this project, therefore, please watch that one. Then you can come to this back and uh, watch it again. So therefore, you'll understand the whole concept like how to run the web application. Also, we the coding of like login page, main page, a lot of other things are explained in this project. That will not going to repeat it again again the this payroll management. So therefore, please watch this. 
So apart from this, you can also see there is a XAMPP installation, Python installation, and you can also learn Python here. And a lot of other projects are provided. So when you are free, you can browse all the videos, check it out, maybe may be interested in one other, one other, other video. Or your friends may be required, please share the videos with your friends. So let them also get the benefit. So also please subscribe to our channel by clicking subscribe button. So on subscribing, so we can provide you much better content day to day basis. Okay, I'll demonstrate the project now, this payroll management. So you can see that here is the payroll management. I'll show you the files. So these are the files which are using in the payroll. So these are the HTML files. Around 14 and these are the Python files again on 28. So with that, uh, these are the tables which you are using in the project payroll database. This is the admin login table. This is the leave table. This is the employee table. So this is the salary details, whatever you enter that will go to employee salary table. So this is the attendance. So once the employee login, when you click the attendance, the details will come to this particular table and then the employee leave table. When they apply for the leave, the data will come to this particular table. So here is a salary table. Once you generate the salary, salary will be stored in this table. Then we have FAQ table. So FAQ table. So all these are the tables which you need to create in a PHP admin. So if you come to PHP admin, you can see that we are, we created all the tables. So all our tables are ready. So next, so I told already as yes, we already logged in and we are in the admin main page. So how to log in, how the login page works, I'll, I'll explain in the banking project. Please watch that one. So therefore you'll get a complete idea. And now come to the leave type entry. So if you go to list, you, you can see that we already enter CL, casual leave. There are totally 12 casual leaves. And so more leave type can be entered over there like. So if you say maternity leave, so you can write down maternity details over there. So this is how many days, so this is 60 days actually. So save. So now if you go to list, you can see that uh, two entries are done. Then here is the employee details entry. So when you click this, you need to fill employee code and what is the corresponding password and these two has to give to the employee. So this is a mini project so therefore not fine address, mobile number, email ID, all you need to enter then you have to save. So I already entered one employee here. So here is one employee details. Then employee salary details. So here is the employee salary details. Same way for multiple employees we can take the employee code and then you have to enter all the details here. So next is the leave applied list. So if the employee apply for leave, so here is attendance entry. When you click attendance entry, it now employee one is logs in and you click this means for this particular day, attendance is done. Then leave type list, what are the different types of leaves here? So now you need to apply for casual leave. So you can apply for casual leave. This is the date control. Let's say 10th, you required a holiday. Um, so you're supposed to go to out of station so the freaking say out of station. So uh, in detail you need to write down why you require a leave. Now on the admin side, admin can able to see that we leave up, leave applied list. Here employee 1 CL and 10th you require a leave. Status not yet approved. Now if you click approve, it will be approved. So it's approved now. So click here, go back to this. There are no more leaves. Here is the approved list. So which are the approved list. Now here you can see here leave status. So now it is approved. So this is what applied and you can see that it is approved here. And next is the salary. So in order to get, see the salary here you have to see the attendance list. So this employee attendance list. Based on that you have to generate the salary. There are totally 9 days he present. Generate it. Now generation successfully. Now if you come to this employee, if you view salary, you can see that employee salary will be shown over there. So this for total 9 days is calculated. So if it is complete 30 days, then it will calculate for all the 30 days. So then FAQ is there. So what are the FAQ entry here? 
that will uh, display in the employee. PF report based on the salary here it shows the PF. So all the employees, so what is the total salary? What is the PF from the employee contribution? PF from the company contribution? What is the total PF? And for all the employees when you take, so it makes a complete list. So then they can pay to the department. So these are things which is covered in this video. So please keep watch our channel and also please subscribe to our channel. And if you want to say something to us, please write it in the comment box. And if you have any difficulty to write the project, so please tell us exactly what is the problem you are facing. Therefore, we can cover that concept in the next videos. And we'll bring more videos in this channel. So subscribe and keep watching. Thank you.